Hey guys, this is the Tongue Man. I just want to let everybody know that uh, Hondetta has uh, just released their latest uh, Flash Pro version. It's uh, 2.4.5. If you haven't updated your Flash Pro Manager, go ahead and do it now. They've added um, a bunch of um, new features for our Honda Civics uh, 06 to 2011. Uh, here's the change. So uh, in 2.4.5, Hondata has added adjustable launch control, full throttle shift, and cruise control lambda display, which is an air fuel display on your tachometer. And for the 2013 SI, the 9th gens, they've added a purge parameter. Today I'm gonna focus on our 8th gens. Uh, and uh, explain to you what uh, these uh, three new features are. So uh, here's my Flash Pro Manager. It's already open. In order for you to access these new features, you can do so in the Rev Limit section. So um, open up your tune, uh, your latest tune from your tuner. Actually, let me uh, close this down and uh, start over so uh, um, you can see exactly how to access these new features. All right, so um, your Flash Pro Manager, go ahead and open that up. I missed that YEK though. Hopefully, I get it back soon. All right, so in File, go to Open. And then uh, go to your latest uh, map from your tuner. And then open that up. And then once it loads, go ahead and access these new features by going to Rev Limits. And then this will bring up your uh, overall rev limiter, your launch control limiter, your, uh, your speed limiter and uh, the new feature of um, full throttle shift. So um, let me go down this list real fast. Your overall rev limiter is uh, your engine uh, speed limiter. Well, mine is set at 8600, so I can rev up to 8600 safely without uh, causing damage to the engine. Uh, this is the launch limiter. Um, I'll show you how to uh, mess around with this uh, once I've uh, gotten this map um, uploaded to my ECU but um, here is where you'll be able to uh, on demand change your launch control and uh, using your uh, your cruise control buttons so uh, I'll follow through with that uh, in a bit uh, speed cut is uh, basically your governor I, I believe our agents are governed at uh, 133 so if you want to uh, remove that limit just um, uh, increase the miles per hour to some crazy like 254 or, or 1000 miles per hour and then uh, you won't have that limiter and then boost cut for the turbo guys uh, I'm not gonna deal with that and then here is the uh, full throttle shift you want to enable this by checking this box and then 6,000 RPM, that's, uh, you're telling the ECU that uh, when you're full throttle above 6,000 RPM and you shift, um, it'll make it safe for you to do so. Uh, as long as you're uh, about 80%, actually 80% or above um, on the throttle. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, enable that so that I can um, upload it to my ECU. All right, so have your Flash Pro connected to your um, OBD2 port and also with uh, the USB port. Connect this to your laptop's uh, there you go, laptop via the USB. And then uh, you'll need your key. It's a, it's a new firmware, so it's going to want to update 
the Flash Pro firmware. So go ahead and press OK to do so. I had the older firmware on the Flash Pro because of my uh, older Flash Pro manager. So here's just updating the firmware on the Flash Pro unit. It'll be a quick process, quick job. Yep, that's it. And then uh, this, I've already mentioned it before in my uh, previous videos, but it's telling you that your the maps that's on the Flash Pro unit are outdated. So um, if you want to be able to um, upload maps from your Flash Pro unit to your ECU without the use of a laptop, it won't work. Um, so um, delete both maps, the primary and the secondary maps on your Flash Pro unit, and then re-upload them to the Flash Pro unit so that you can use that feature of um, uploading maps from your Flash Pro unit to your ECU without the use of a laptop. So um, press OK. I need my key. Put my key into the on position without turning it on. All right, so once you've done all that, check here at the bottom left. And uh, if you have all green check marks, you are good to go. So uh, let me see here. So that's enable full throttle shift. Everything should remain the same. I am on the Hyundai 4 bar because I'm boosting more than 10 pounds. Uh, if everything is good, go ahead and upload it to the ECU by clicking this button and then uh, it'll be a minute and a half of wait. So I'll continue this video once it's done. All right, it's done. Uh, the new map or the revised map is updated to the ECU. Press OK. All right, so um, now let me show you um, how to remove the, the old maps uh, on the Flash Pro unit. As you can see here, this is the map that I just uploaded to the ECU. So it's a 2.4.5, which is the most current Honda Flash Pro manager version. Um, so this one, my secondary map, is an older version. It's a 2.4.2. .2. You uh, want to delete this by clicking delete right here. Are you sure? Yes. So it'll delete that from your Flash Pro unit in order for you to upload uh, the newly revised um, uh, map, go to open, save changes, no, uh, yeah, let's change it, yeah. All right, so uh, my secondary map, I use 91 octane. So go down to your most uh, revised map from your tuner. Open that up into Flash Pro Manager and you would want to uh, enable this as well, full throttle shift enabled. So um, once you do that, upload it to your secondary calibration slot. It'll be a quick job. There you go. So uh, it's a version 2.4.5. So both maps, primary and secondary, are now updated. So uh, you can um, use the um, upload feature uh, from the Flash Pro unit without the use of a laptop.